An ileostomy is a surgical opening into the ileum, the last section of the small intestine. Now this surgery brings about big changes to the body, so let's review the functions of the GI tract so we'll better understand how the surgery can affect our body. We chew our food and it goes down our esophagus and into the stomach. The chewed up food is going to move by a muscular movement which is going to help push and propel the food through the GI tract. Now the GI tract secretes mucus to help lubricate and protect the GI tract and to help keep food sliding and moving along to aid in digestion. In the stomach, the chewed up food is held and stored and churned as it's met with digestive enzymes, then slowly released to go into the small intestine. And as it moves into the small intestine, more digestive enzymes are added in from the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas to help break the food down. The digestive enzymes will melt the food down and the muscular movement will help churn and break the food apart. The vitamins and nutrients are extracted from the chewed up food in the small intestine. So you can say that the small intestine eats for us. And it's a very caustic environment in the small intestine as well. This is where steak and cabbage and pasta are being broken down, liquefied, to be used for fuel for our bodies. Now, the food moves from the small intestine into the large intestine, also known as the colon. And I said earlier, the small intestine eats for us. Well, the job of the large intestine is to drink for us. It absorbs the liquid from the liquid that we drink and the liquid from the foods that we eat. And the more colon we have, the more opportunity for absorption of liquids our body will have. Now, the remaining chewed up food moves through the colon and exits the body through the anus. For an ileostomy, the surgeon separates the GI tract in the ileum section of the small intestine and either removes the colon or closes it off. Then the surgeon will create a diversion by making an opening into the abdominal wall. Then pull the open end of the GI tract through this new opening, fold it over, such as a cuff, and suture it down to the body. Now this is known as an end stoma, and this is where the stool will exit the body. The patient will wear a pouch over it to collect the stool. Another type of stoma that we frequently see with an ileostomy is a loop stoma. For a loop stoma, the surgeon pulls a loop of the GI tract up onto the abdominal wall through a small incision. The surgeon generally uses a rod to help support the loop of bowel and prevent it from falling back into the abdominal cavity. Then the surgeon is going to split this loop of bowel, fold it open, and suture it down to the body. Now, some surgeons will leave it where you can see the two openings going into the body. Some surgeons will further perfect it so it kind of looks like a little tube up off of the body. And some surgeons will actually put the two stomas side by side. So they kind of look like a double barrel. Most surgeons say that a loop stoma is easier to take down in the event that this is a temporary diversion. If you would like more information about ostomy surgery or ostomy management, please contact the UOAA at ostomy.org. Thank you.